how to write the title of a research paper is something that we are going to discuss in today's video so in this video in this series of video we are going to first talk about some basic tips relating to the title of your research article then we will talk about a long form method in order to write the title of your research article both of these things will be discussed in the part 1 of this video in the part 2 we will talk about a short form me me method and i will be sharing some of the tips to improve the title of your research article so stay tuned for part 1 and part 2 now we will focus on the part 1 of this video where where we will talk about the basic tips and the long form method talking about the basic tips of your research article title it should be about 8 to 5 8 to 15 words it should be relevant to the theme of your research paper the grammar of your article should be correct you should not use any abbreviation in the title of your research paper it should be in a single phrase form and it should show a relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable those who don't have any idea about what these two terms means so i will give you a little bit idea in every in every research work there is one parameter that we change and observe what is the change in that parameter and what is the effect of that change in that parameter on the other parameters right so the parameter that we change is our independent variable and those parameters which are affected by the change of that single or multiple parameters are known as the dependent variable so your title should be able to show a relationship between the independent and dependent variable another very important part about the title of your research paper is that you have to write the title of your research article after writing the abstract means if we talk about the about a method of writing and research article then title should be written at the last once when you have written all of your research article the reason behind this is when you have completed your whole re re research article so you have an idea about what you have talked about in your article at that time when you have that when you have that clear picture it is very much okay and good to write the title of your research paper there are some things that should be included in the title that is it should describe the topic it should describe the method it should describe the sample that you have used and it should describe the results of your study if all these four criteria are satisfied by your title you can say that you have written a good re re research paper title now talking about the long form method to write the title of your research article so this form includes five steps in the first step you should ask yourself some basic questions about your paper in the in the second step you have to identify and list the keywords and phrases from your work in the third step you have to write a long statement using these keywords and phrases that you have identified in the step 2 in the fourth step we will be creating a working title and in the fifth step we will delete all the unnecessary or extra words from your working title and make it final so i will be explaining all these steps to you one by one in the rest of the video so in order to explain you these five steps i have taken a sample example so in the step 1 you have to answer some of the basic questions about your paper 
like what is my paper about which method i used to perform my work who or was the subject of my study and what was the result obtained by your work so in the first step you should be answering these four questions to yourself so here is an example for you like if i am i have done some work right and i have asked this question to myself like what is the what, what is my paper about and the answer that comes to me is that my paper studies the faculty involvement and ways to manage teaching learning activities due to covid 19 so this is what the theme of my article is now the method that i have used to do my work is a hybrid flipped classroom approach now who was the subject of my work so if my answer is that the different ways to manage faculty improve involvement in teaching and learning activities in a flipped classroom for the students now what was the result of what i have done so the result shows that there is a requirement for for mitigating from conventional teaching and learning modules to flipped classes so this is what i have got as a part of my result so this means that a hybrid flipped classroom can be considered for fashion design students here i i i have also mentioned who is my sample who is my sample on which this study has been done they are the fashion design students now in the step 1 we have answered these four questions in the step 2 from the answers that i have got in my step 1 i have created a small a paragraph about my work right now from this paragraph i have to identify and list the keywords and phrases the keywords and phrases i identified from this paragraph seem to be faculty involvement teaching learning flipped classes conventional te- te- teaching covid 19 mitigating hybrid flipped classroom so see these so this so this is what i have identified in my short summary that i have made from my those four answers that i have found out in my first step right now the next thing step 3 now using these keywords that i have identified in the step 2 i have to write a long statement about my work it can be in the form of a long summary as the world is facing corona virus disease pandemic situation thus there is a requirement for mitigating from conventional teaching and learning modules to the flipped classes this study involves hybrid flipped classroom teaching method which involves a blend of theory practical activity and tutorial sessions this approach is the mitigating impact of learning activity can be considered as a fashion design to students due to emergency of covid-19 so in your case this sum this summary might change according to your work this summary has been created according to uh, the the example that i have taken in order to make you understand these three four five steps the long form steps so now as i have my long statement in this third step right now from this long step i have to create two short summaries the first summary should explain my research methodology and the second summary should explain the importance of my in the step 5 thus first summary that, that i have created in my step 4 will be used to create a working title so let us suppose my first summary which explains the research methodology it 
is something like that that this study involves the hybrid flipped classroom teaching method which involves a blend of theory practical activity and tutorial sessions this approach which is a new pattern of teaching learning activities can be considered a fashion design for the students so now if i will identify my keywords from this long paragraph or of the or from the first summary then they are hybrid flipped classroom approach fashion design students so by using these words i will create my first working title which goes on to something like this hybrid flipped classroom approach for fashion design students so this is my first working title that we have created i hope this will be this will be clear to you in the next step in the sixth step from the second summary that we have created which involves our importance of the topic we will create a secondary title so is the sec the secondary summary goes on to something like this that there is a requirement for mitigating from conventional teaching and learning modules to flipped classes this study involves the hybrid flipped classroom teaching method which involves a blend of theory practical activity and tutorial sessions this approach is the mitigating impact of learning activity can be considered a fashion design for the students due to emergency of covid-19 so if you will identify the keywords from this short summary this this second summary so we can use these words in order to create our secondary title which goes on to be something like this mitigating impacts to learning activities due to emergence of covid-19 so we have our working title and we also have our secondary title with us right now now on combining both of them we will create our final title and the final title goes on something like this hybrid flipped classroom approach for fashion design students hyphen mitigating impacts to learning activities due to emergence of covid-19 so by using this long form method in in this seven steps we have created a final title for our research art article so this brings us to the end of the part 1 you will get the part 2 by today evening 6 pm i hope this method would have understood by you if not you can ask your questions in the comment section and also you can like share and comment this video and also subscribe to my channel learning with chandan thank you